one of us, you mess with all of us, right? And the truth is, Jasmine could have been any of our children because we drive next to people all day who could just shoot into our car. And so I'm very excited to see everyone out here, um, which is, you know, to fight for our children because they are our future. And I know as a, as a kid from Third Ward who turned out okay, I know that people are afraid to work with the police, right? Because there are problems with trust within that community. But all I'm asking anybody to do is walk in the shoes of Jasmine's parents, or for that matter, walk in the shoes of Jasmine. Because Jasmine could have been your daughter, your sister, your, your niece, your, grandchi your grandchild. And so I want for us to start building, or I should say, because I don't know that we ever had a relationship with the police, but to start building a relationship of trust with the police, where we're gonna trust that if we tell them what we know, that we will not become victims ourselves, right? Because you judge a society by how we treat the least, the last, and the lost. And I think in every society, we know that children are least able to protect themselves. Our seniors are least able to protect themselves. And if we can't find some modicum of justice for Jasmine, then shame on us, right? right? Then shame on us. And so I, I just want to say, I'm, I'm about to pass the mic because I didn't come out here to do a lot of talking. I just want for you to know that at this day, at this moment in time, sometimes you need to take a stand. You need to pick a side. You need right. to do something. You need to say something. Amen. And today is that day for me. There are so many other things that I could have been doing, but I didn't. I didn't even get mad at the motorcycle people for, for stopping traffic to come out here because I'm happy to see them out here. And, and the one thing I learned about being behind the motorcycle people is I hope that we as a community learn to stick together like they st stuck together and, and cut for them to get here to show support for this family. Because the truth is, with the old African proverb, man, it takes a village. Yes. And Jasmine's family needs to know that we are her village. And I know uh, Sister Evangelista, uh, who's a lawyer, we've been working together for a long time.